Okay, um, this is you can see two window here, but don't worry, you're supposed to be one only. This is the one, and the second one I have I have because I have just flushed my printers, so that's why I have done before. You should see the same thing, but now from the beginning, when you got your first, you should have you just starting it first time, so you should have only one window here only. Um, and this is how you get it. Um, go to run and then type cmd and then pop up this window and then type cd um dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash enter that means everything i said type in later is referring referring to my c drive uh on my because i mentioned before in my computer c drive and then i have everything copied into c drive and the Brozac and the Firmit is two, these two files I need, so that's why I'm referring everything to C drive. So now you type Brozac space, and just type on wherever you see it is, and then space com. On my case, my printer is on com9. You can verify this from your, uh, well, from your. De device manager, okay, whatever. Device manager, space. It has to be capital R here, okay, space again. Uh, and then I'm not sure what it is. And then E space W space V space B. Oh, I forgot the space. Okay, space. And then you follow me, right? And then type the name of the firmware because let's see in my case I would name my firmware the to firmware one point dot one dot j so that's the name of the firmware I just have to type it in now so um FWV one point dot poi I mean one point dot one dot j dot b i n enter now it's flushing now just don't interrupt it okay let me go but don't worry into even though you interrupt it you just starting again like to the hardware reset put the false up in the back of the printer like just to redo everything just wait until you finish okay now it says uh verify successfully See, you hear the sound? My printer come on. So, it was... Sorry, my hand is shaking. The CPU reset, boot successful. And now my printer just came back on automatically because the flash from is done. Let's go back to... System, yeah, 1.1.j. You can use the same method to flash your printer to other version of uh, flush the printer to other version or even the third party software some people using the replicator uh, Mer Mer Merlin whatever you want to do just use the same method but it's done right but you are not supposed to do to print anything yet you need to reset the the reset the what do you call it the printer bad the XYZ and the extruder you have to reset it because otherwise I mean, it messed up all the alignment, so you have to res uh, reset it. Let's see. Where to reset? Change. Calibrate, yes, yeah, do the calibration. I think it's called a home on the. Uh, let's see. Home access, yeah, choose home access. Sure, yes. <coughs> Okay, home access complete, and then okay to return. I think now what we need to do is turn off the printer. Uh, well, uh, let's do this later. Uh, but anyway, you should, let's do this in the second video. But what I mean is, the point is how to flush the printer to a different firmware. Okay, so basically all set and then all done.
all the thumbprints that you need will be I will put it on the video. Under under the video, there's a link for you. So that should be it. If you have any question, ask me. But I might not able to help you, because when your people for people who are watching this video, it's just like me. I'm totally new to this technology, and I'm not a programmer. Everything I done today is after many hours of reading and research from uh, at the, uh, on the internet. All right, uh, let's see. Um, anything you? Anything else? I think that's it. And also, verify one more thing. Turn on the XYZ. Um, XYZ where? Hello. Okay, kept slow. So about. You can see the printer. It says one point one dot J. Good, so I'm ready to go except I just need to calibrate the calibrate the printer again. Yes, it's connected. Okay, see the com change number six, whatever name it but uh, we have a nine before right but now we going to say whatever it works anyway. Alright, that's few things we need to do. Recap, download this reset file into your computer because it contain a few things you need uh no, it has the uh, yes first is the resetter yes uh you download go to this website down download then this xyz where for your printer and go to this website Download the DaVinci 1.0 reset because inside the reset it has the software that we need. I'm sorry to repeat myself again and again. So it, it has the browser and the firmware, those two. We copy these two into the C drive. And after the hardware reset, at the hardware reset, I'm referring to put the false step into the two dot in the back of the printer and um, you should search for hardware reset for the country a lot of people know about it and then you can just go to the computer type psd type cmd pop up this window and then just follow the instruction i have and that's it all right if you have other questions don't hesitate to ask but again i may not able to help you and again, you are doing all of this on your own risk. Um, and you might be avoid the warranty from the XYZ company for this DaVinci printer. It, it might be avoid the warranty, okay? I, I don't know, but do it on your own risk. All right, okay. From now on, I can buy all those aftermarket other brand names filaments instead of buying those expensive XYZ filament. Alright, that's it. Have a good day.